that's why I'm a little later than normal coming in. Um, I should probably have not taken it, but I did take it, and hence I'm a bit later than normal. Right, right let's have a look. <laughs> Sally, Joy. Hello, Brian. Hello, Brian. Myself. Yeah, cracked it. Hello, hello. Lovely to hello, see you. Hello. All. Right, we're using a band this evening and a bit of ball as well. I've got I've got Anna's posh band today, so hopefully that will make it hard, work even harder. And I pumped up the balls as well because I decided they were so low that we couldn't hardly really, uh, use them anymore. So. Um, they're also done. Right. Now, those of you who came to class on Saturday morning, one of the exercises we did then, we are going to be doing standing before we go into our prones. Okay? So some of you will uh, have tried them before. Let's get started with class. Feet hip width apart. Now make sure they're grounded. Soften your knees. Then lengthen up as tall as you can. Think of that piece of string lifting you up to the ceiling. Shoulder blades, excuse me, in their pockets. Nice pelvic tilts to find neutral and then engage your core. We're going to start off with your head, take it to the side, lower it down, chin down towards your chest, up the other side, lower, to the side, lower, to the side, lower, to the side, lower, to the side, into the front, chin down, back up, down, back up, down, back up, down, Shoulders up to your ears. <laughs> Lift. Somebody's got their sound on. Can you turn it off, please? Release. Lift. Release. Lift. Release. Lift. Release. Bring them forwards. And back. Forwards. And back. Forwards and back. Forwards and back. Side bends, reach. Back up. Other side. And up. Side. And up. Side. And up. Side. And up, side, and take your arms up, not the shoulders, it's facing forwards, twist your upper body to the side, to the middle, other side, to the middle, side, to the middle, side, to the middle, side, to the middle, side, up to the middle, arms down, lift up your right knee, take it out to the side, back in, and lower, change lift, to the side, in, and lower, lift, side, in, and lower, change lift, side, in, and lower. Hands on your thighs now, knees soft, shoulders forward, start rolling down, vertebrae, wide vertebrae. I want you to feel each vertebrae moving on your way down, take it down as far as you're comfortable, hold it. And now slowly come back up. I've oh, just got this sound on, arms out, stretch up. Come back down, arms on your thighs, roll. Hold it. 
slowly up. Arms out. Stretch up. Come back down. One more time. Arms on your thighs. And roll. Hold it. Slowly up. Arms out. Stretch up. Come back down. Arms by your sides. Right, so this exercise, nice and simple. Obviously, it's balanced, and we're doing one leg at a time. I'll just show you with the good leg sideways on. So we're going to have one leg start the knee up, and you're going to take the knee behind, touching the floor. So the other leg and arm are back behind you, and then we're coming back up. Okay, and we're going to do it four times on that and then four times on the other. Okay. Right, so engage your core. Engage your core and let's go. You choose which one you want to do first. Okay, I'm going to do my good one first. So I'm lifting up my right one. Start taking it behind. And touch the floor. And don't pull. And come up. So focus on a spot, and again, lower, and back up, lower, and up, but once you get into the rhythm it's not so bad, lower, one more, this is, and up and relax the leg down. Right, this is my not so good leg. Okay, are you ready? Engage your core. Off we go, take it back. Touch. And up. Keep it controlled. And again, lower. Let's give you an idea how much different one side of your body is than the other. And up, lower, and up, last time, lower, and back up, and drop the knee down, excellent, right, sounds like we're a bit quieter now, so hopefully, Right, get on, get your band on. Just above your knees. <coughs> right, I'm just going to check who it is that's got their sound on. I've got to come up to the screen, so sorry. Uh, Kerry, it's you. You've got your sound on. It's just that when you put a replay on, every time it makes a noise, you actually go over to you. So you'll be starring in some of the class for the replay, which uh, will be fun, I have to say. Right. Sound of Blast and Tool, engage your core, and let's roll down. Okay, we're going to touch the floor. Call forward. And your hands need to be underneath your shoulders. Take your feet a little bit wider apart to start with, just so that you can feel your band, that's all, okay? Now we're going to take your right foot out to the side and bring it back in. Now take your left out and back in. Right, out and back in. Left, out and back in, right, out, and in, left, out, and in. Soften the knees, and nice and slowly, you're coming back up. Slowly up the body. Right, good. Number two, engage your core, and down we go. Touch the floor. Cool forwards. 
Hands on the knees, shoulders. Again, make sure you can feel your band. Now, we're taking the right foot out to the side. Don't go so far. And then we're taking the left one out. So it's nice and wide, hold it. Now we'll take the left one in and the right in. Left out, right out. Right in, left in. Right out, left out. Left in, right in. Bend the knees and again, nice and slowly. Just standing. Right, I'll be ready. Last one. Engage your core and down we go. Touch the floor, core forwards. Hands underneath shoulders. Okay, if you can jump, jump. If you can't, step out like we did at the beginning. Okay, are you ready? Jump. And in. Out. And in. Out. In. One more. Out. In. Knees down. Relax back. Stretch out your arms. Good stuff. Right, on your backs. Now this is where we're going to add the ball. Okay. This is where Ted might leave us because he really doesn't like the ball. Go on the sofa, Ted. Good boy. Right, ball under coccyx. Right. Get comfortable on your ball. Now, if you really don't like your ball, don't use it. It's entirely up to you. We'll start off with our feet together, toes out, heels where the toes were, then neutral spine, and then engage your core. You're going to take your right leg up into the tabletop. No, Left thinking. leg lift. Now, if you can manage, I want you to take both arms off the floor. It's entirely up to you. And we're going to take the right leg out to the side. Well, it's hard with the span. And back in. Left side. And in. Right side. And in. Left side. And in, right side. And in, left side. And in, lower your right to the floor. Lower your left down, lower your arms. Okay, I felt like I was coming off the wall then. Neutral spine again, core engaged. Take your right leg up into the tabletop. Left leg. Okay, now we're taking the right leg up to the ceiling. Now, keep the leg as straight as you can. Take your arms off the floor if you would like to, and take the leg again out to the side. Really stretch that band. And slowly back in. And again, out to the side. And back in. Out to the side. And back in, out to the side, and back in. Back into the tabletop, lower it to the floor, lower the other one down. Good, okay, now we'll do the same with the uh, left leg. Neutral spine, or engage, take your left leg up into the tabletop, 
right leg lift. Left leg up, arms off the floor if you can manage, up to the side. Really stretch. And back in. Stretch out. And back in. Stretch out. And back in. Stretch out. And back in. Back into your tabletop. Lower it to the floor. Lower the other one. Good. Okay, we're going to come back to that shortly. I want you to transfer your ball from underneath you to underneath your feet. So get both feet comfortably. <laughs> the ball. Sorry, that was Ted barking. Right, I'm changing ball. I want you to push your back into the mat, then arch up, find neutral. When you're happy with your neutral position, engage your core. Okay, we're going to do the bridge, vertebrae by vertebrae. So imprint, activate, and up we come. Glutes, remember, not hamstrings, glutes. Hold it at the top. Down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Straighten the ball out, so just straighten your legs, bring them in, ready, imprint, activate, up. Make sure those glutes are really, really tight, down, and then roll the ball out. Right, we've got one more like this, and then we're adding something else. So back into position, imprint, activate, up we come. Again, hold it at the top. Down. And relax the ball out. Okay, so this time, when we're in the up position, we are going to roll the ball in and out, okay? with the hips up in the air. So come back in. Ready, imprint, activate, up we come. Right, high as you can with your hips. Are you ready? Roll the ball out. Keep those glutes engaged. And in. We're doing it again. Ready, out. In. Down, vertebrae, five, vertebrae. This time I want you to bring your knees into your chest. Now, when we rolled the ball out, you should then have felt it in your hamstrings. So that is what we want, uh, that's what I wanted, to, to feel it in your hamstrings as well. Uh, I know it's hard. Right, now we're going to roll onto our side. And let them out as long as you can. Make sure your band is still in position. <laughs> um, arm on your side and keep lengthening. Top hip onto bottom hip. Neutral spine. Engage your core. We're taking both legs off the floor. And all we're doing is lifting the top leg for this one. Okay, so ready? Lift. High as your band will allow. And lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. It's funny, I can see just a few legs. Lift and lower. Lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. Lift. And 
blog. Let's go. Add lava. Let's go. And lower. Top onto bottom. Relax your legs down. Now roll onto your other side. And again, out. Make sure your top is on top of your bottom hip. Then neutral spine. And then engage your core. Ready? Both legs off the floor and top leg lift. Again, high as you can and lower. Keep the control. Lift. And lower. 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 We've got two more to go. Lift. And lower. Lift. And lower. Top onto bottom. Relax your legs down. Roll onto your front. We're going to plank. I want you to plank with the band on. Okay? And get into position. And I need your elbows underneath your shoulders. So what we're doing today, we're just going to do um, one minute. Okay? I was quite nice, I believe, last Monday. So we're going to do four one minutes. But I want you just to take your legs just in wide enough to feel the band. But if it gets your lower back, then don't do it. Okay? Then just go normally would. That's really important. Okay? Elbows underneath shoulders. Think about your core. Come up onto your knees and tilt. Core should be engaged. If you're lifting, please lift. Lengthen your body, melt your shoulders. Nice, deep breathing. to look up at the screen when I'm down here. <laughs> can't find you, I can't see a lot anyway, so that's no good. Ten seconds to go. Ready for number two, elbows underneath shoulders. Think about your core, come up onto your knees and tilt. If you're lifting, please lift. Melt the shoulders. Nice deep breathing. Thank you. 
15 seconds to go. Knees down and relax. Okay, same again. Stretch if you would like to. Have a rest if that's your stretch. If you're lifting, you may lift. Lengthen, melt the shoulders. Nice deep breathing. seconds to go. Knees down. Relax. Well done. Another stretch if you would like to. And stretch back. Excellent. Let's do one more. Ready? Elbows underneath shoulders. Think about your core. Come up onto your knees and tilt. Core's engaged. If you're lifting, please lift. Again, belt the shoulders. Nice deep breathing. Right, we're staying on our fronts. I just want you to be comfortable. 
Now, don't worry about your van because you have your floppy feet for this one. It's up to you whether you rest your head in your arms or arms by your sides, whichever way you're comfortable because you're not doing anything with your upper body, okay? We're going to do the 50 pound note, all right? So I'll go through it just in case you've forgotten. So I've issued every one of you with a 50 pound note and you are going to place that 50 pound note between your bum cheeks and you are not allowed to let anyone steal it. So when I say you are going to squeeze your glutes as tightly as you can, so no one can take it. Then you're going to engage your core and then you're going to lift your pelvic floor. Once we've done all those, you're breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth until I say to relax. Okay, so are you ready? 50 pound note in place. Lift the pelvic floor, engage your core. Breathe in through your nose, out your mouth and relax everything for try not to tense your shoulders if you feel like you're tensing your shoulders put your arms by your sides okay are you ready 50 pound notes in place Engage your core and lift your pelvic floor. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. And relax everything else. 50 pound note in place. Engage your core and lift your pelvic floor. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. And relax. 50 pound note in place. Engage your core, lift the pelvic floor. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. And relax everything off. We've got two more of these to do. Ready? 50 pound notes in place. Lift the pelvic floor and engage your core. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. And relax. You should be feeling it now in your glutes. Ready, 50 pound notes in place. Engage your core, lift your pelvic floor, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. And relax. Well done, right, I've got your hands and knees. Right, we're going to do a fire hydrant. So you want your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. And then you're going to arch your back up to the ceiling. And relax it down to the floor. And now find neutral. When you're happy with your neutral position, engage your core. Okay, you can start off with whichever leg you like. We're just taking the leg out to the side. Okay, so keep your body weight central between both your hands. And ready, lift the knee off the floor, take it out to the side. And slowly back in. Doing this nice and controlled to the side. And back in. Out to the side. And back in. to the side and then two more out to the side and then out to the side and back 
in, knee down. Okay, keep in position. Lift the other knee off the floor. Ready, out to the side. And in. Side. In. Side. In. Side. In. Side. In. One more. Side. And in. Knee down. Arms out. Relax back. Excellent. Right, we're going on our backs again now. Keep your hand on. Without the ball this time. Bend your knees, arms by your sides. We'll start off with our feet together and then we're taking the toes out. Heels where the toes were. Push your back into the mat. Arch up. Find neutral. When you're happy with your neutral position, Engage your core. Okay, we're going to go out for a cycle now. Ready? Right leg up into the tabletop. Left leg lift. Now, obviously, with the band on, it's going to be a little bit harder to cycle. So, we're going to cycle forwards in your own time. Off you go. First of all, I want really small cycle movements, but you are going to straighten your leg like you would on a bike. And then you can bring the knee back into the chest. Nice small movements. Right now we're going to extend our movements a bit. Bigger circles, bigger bike. Take the leg if you can a little bit further down towards the floor. Okay, now we're getting smaller again. And then we're going to go back into the tabletop, lower your right, lower your left. Now we're going to cycle back the other way. Okay, so you've got to concentrate a little bit more with this one because it doesn't flow so well. Neutral spine, core engaged, take your right leg up into the tabletop, left leg lift. Okay, so if you bring the right knee in and the left leg out, and then backwards. So remember, start small. Really do have to concentrate on going backwards. Now we're getting bigger. So we're stretching that band, stretching the leg further out, more towards the floor. Nice big circles. Going to take them smaller again and smaller. Back into the tabletop, lower your right, lower your left. Bring your knees into your chest. Okay, from here we're going back onto our side, keeping your band on and lengthening out, legs out straight again. The plan is that you actually feel this in your glutes afterwards, not just at the time. Right, top it onto bottom here, lengthen your body as long as you can. 
neutral spine, and then engage your core. We're taking both legs off the floor. Now, we're going to take the leg behind, which means you've got to keep your legs straight. I don't want you just bending, bending the knee, okay? Because that's quite easy to do. And then we're going to touch the floor behind as well. So, re ready? Take it back, touch, and into position. So this is your Jane Fonda. Take it behind, touch, back to neutral. Behind, touch, 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 to neutral. One more. Behind, touch, to neutral. Top onto bottom. Relax your legs. Down. Right, roll over. Okay, lengthen out as long as you can. Rest your head on your arm if you can manage to. I want your top hip on top of your bottom hip. Neutral spine, then engage your core. Okay, let's take both legs off the floor and top leg, take it back, touch, to neutral, 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 back, Touch to neutral. Back. Touch to neutral. Back. Touch to neutral. Back. Touch to neutral. Back. Touch to neutral. Top onto bottom. Relax your legs down. Right, you can sit. Again, keep your band on. We're going to do some roll downs now. Just a bit further forward. Okay, um, you can use your board if you want to, but we're not going to do our real stretching forward on this one because we're going to do something in a minute. So sit up nice and tall, belt shoulders, chin off chest, engage your core, and let's slowly go down. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Okay, come nice and slowly up. And then stretch. Come back up. And lower. Keep the control. Slowly up. Stretch forward. Come back up. And lower. Sure there's no sudden jerky movements, it all needs to come from the core and the abdominals. Stretch forward, not from your neck muscles. Back up, lower. Up. 
nice and tall, stretch forward. Look up. And lower. And next time you sit up, we'll stay there. Slowly up. Stretch forward. And relax. Okay, get your feet mapped with the heart. Whichever your band will allow. Mine won't go mapped with the heart because it's too tight. But whatever your band will allow. Right, I want one hand on top of the other hand. Melt the shoulders. And I want you to think of a wall being in front of you, okay? So don't let your arms go down to the floor. They've got to be parallel to the floor. Sit up nice and tall, melt the shoulders, chin off chest, engage your core. And ready, push forward. Back nice and straight. Hold it. And come back up, nice and tall. And again, forward. And release. Forward. And release. piece of string lifting you up to the ceiling each time. Ready, forward. Back up. Nice and tall. Last one. Push forward. Hold it there. Keep hold and release. Arms down, legs in. Right, I just want you to take your band off, but keep it obviously for stretching. We'll be doing that shortly. Right, we haven't done this for ages and ages, but we're going to do. Remember when we used to do the rolling like a ball? We're going to do the half rolling like a ball. In other words, we're going to go down to the floor and come back up, okay? Try not to kick your legs out. So if you can manage, I want your hands just below your knees. And bring your knees in as tightly into your chest as you can. So you really are like a ball. Melt the shoulders and keep your chin off your chest. Then engage your core. And then just let yourself, obviously controlled, roll down to the floor. So you're going vertebrae by vertebrae and roll down. Okay, now without kicking, I saw some of you collapse a bit. Try and control that going down. And then I want it controlled coming up without kicking your legs out. All right, up we go. So nice pelvic tilt without kicking your legs out. Right, we're gonna give that a go again. Ready, roll down. You should have amazing core by now. And again, up. Yeah, there's some legs still going out, isn't there, at the moment? Right, let's try again. Now we go. Just think about the tilt, because you're so good at tilting in this class. But you're tilting in order to get up, okay? So ready? Up we come. It's improving a bit. I can only see a few of you. The rest of you is like a blank bit. Right, we're going to do one more. Okay, when we get back to class in a few weeks, I'm looking forward to this one. Can we go? Ready? Up we come. Yeah, 
yeah, some of you actually definitely improved as you were doing that. Right, now you can go down and stay down. Stay down. And I want your ball, but I want a foot on the ball, not both feet, just a foot. A uh, right foot, I should say. Arms by your sides. Push your back into the mat. Arch up. Find neutral. When you're happy with your neutral position, engage your core. Okay, you're taking your left leg up into the tabletop. Now, leave your leg where it is, because you're not using it. Just roll the ball out. Don't squash it. Now take it back in. Roll it out. Take it back in. It's really slow. Roll it out. Back in. Out. In. And now lower your left to the floor. Change the ball over. Obviously with these, the slower you go, the more work your core is doing. Okay. No squashing that ball, neutral spine, core engaged, take your right leg up into the tabletop. Roll out the left. Back in. So you should be using the out breath to roll out and to come back in. Roll out. Roll in. Roll out. And in. Roll out. In. Lower your right to the floor. Take your ball away. Bring your knees into your chest. Okay, we're going to do some stretching now. So I want you to bring one foot down, place your band on if you're using it, and then straighten the leg up to the ceiling. Then bring it in towards you. If you want to make that stronger stretch, drop your toes down. You'll definitely feel that. Okay, release now, place that foot onto the other knee, either lift the one that's on the floor or push down with the palm of the hand on the inside of the knee, whichever gives you the better stretch. that down, bring the other knee in, 
hand over if you're using it, straighten the leg up to the ceiling, drop the toes if you wish, just bring it in towards you, hold it there. Okay, release, foot onto knee, take it nice and wide, either lift the one that's on the floor or push down with the palm of the hand on the inside of the knee. Okay, release that now. Take your legs out straight, arms above your head. Get as much distance as you can between your fingers and your toes. Bring your arms in. We're going to do some thoracic breathing, so get comfortable. Either arms by your sides or on your abdominals if you want to feel your breathing. Melt your shoulders. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. As you breathe in, you're pushing out your abdominals in order to get as much air from as low down in your diaphragm from each breath as you can. As you breathe out, you're pulling in your abdominals to expel as much air as possible. Off we go. breath you're on, I want you to slowly come up to seated position. We've got one more glute stretch I want you to do, so I want you to place one foot, bend your knee and place it over the other leg and then get the opposite elbow and really push the knee across in front of your body and then turn the other way. And obviously, the more you push that knee in front of you, the more you should feel that stretch in your glute. Okay, release that. And we'll do the same with the other one. So foot over, opposite arm, really pushing that knee across and turn away from the stretch.
Okay, release that. Now bend your knees, take your hands behind you and come forwards. Then straighten the legs and nice and slowly curl back up to standing position. Well done, good work this evening. I'm just gonna close the door now because it's getting a bit chilly.